Colleen Rogers and I had a great idea for a device that we could use for diabetics or other patients with wounds on their legs or feet. It's not always easy to grab a second nurse with the nursing shortage that we have and nurses are extra busy on the floor. So my device would hold up that limb while I was able to do wound care on my own. This device is adjustable, it fits under the bed, it's comfortable for the patient, and we're able to do what we need to do without a lot of strenuous activity for the patient. Okay, so Mr. Shaw, we're going to do some wound care on your foot. Are you able to lift this leg for me? Are you gonna be able to hold this for a couple minutes? No. Okay, so I'm gonna have another nurse help me then, okay? So now I'm gonna be able to do wound care here because I have another nurse helping me. But if I didn't have another nurse because she's busy, my device will step in here and hold his foot here while I'm able to do wound care on his leg. Diabetics are a big area of where there are wound care. If you are a diabetic, we always watch for toes up to uh, feet, up to heels, up to calves, all the way up. Um, they have a compromised circulatory system. I, uh, I spent time uh, working in hospitals in Birmingham, Alabama, in Memphis, Tennessee, and then of course you know, I'm from Alabama originally. Um, so just in general knowing the impact uh, of diabetes in the southeast, I mean it is it's here too as well in the, in the northeast region also, but it is much more prevalent you know in the south. And so when you talk about those patients going for their health care, um, it's something like something like this device that we're we're we're, we're starting to talk about uh, could be extremely beneficial and extremely impactful. I, I would say they would be clamoring, you know, to have a um, a tool like this to be able to add to their to, to their, their chest. Yeah. There was um, a staff meeting here where they mentioned if anybody had any ideas, and I've had this idea for a long time. I was just never able to bring it to anybody, and didn't know where to proceed with it. The, just the fact that from it goes from an idea in my head to an actual device that would help millions and millions of patients and millions of nurses, that's really exciting to me.